Guess what I'm eating for breakfast this morning? What? Reindeers! Ew! <laughs> Protein pancake reindeers! Oh, good. I thought we were gonna be eating real reindeers. That's gross. Yeah, that would probably be pretty gross. Well, I never tried one. They might taste good, actually. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's getting close to Christmas and we were craving some reindeer. Just wait. I'm gonna show you. It's so cute! We made it yesterday and it's all so yummy and it's fast. And I'll show you. We're getting our coffee going. We're gonna eat a protein bar and then we're gonna make reindeers. This is my eating reindeer outfit. <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> yep. Also starting a dance instruction school soon. Too. I bet you all have so many people. Watch, you just like, you just do this is the first move. Like this, you know how you do this move is like you pretend that you're surfing and then oh. you, and you move your hips. I've never surfed in my life. I can tell. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna get a pan heated to cook these two turkey bacon's, and then got that from Walmart. I'm looking in the bag for a good reindeer nose. What are these? Are these the eyeballs? Those are the eyes. Those are frozen blueberries. I think that's a good reindeer nose. That's a frozen strawberry slice. And then I'm going to use this protein pancake mix. I got the Flourish buttermilk and this PC from Zares in Canada. Buttermilk protein pancake mix just in case I don't have enough. I'm gonna mix half a cup with half a cup of water and then make two pancakes and I'll show you how I put this together. I'm gonna cook these, make them crispy about four minutes per side and these are gonna be the antlers. <laughs> Coffee time. Gotta pour this in. One for you, one for your friend. Yep. Hey, I like your nails. <gasps> oh yeah, thank I painted those yesterday for Christmas. It's like December 9th. It's like it's December 19th today, so it's getting close. You gotta start doing Christmas stuff, boy. Christmas in the city. Christmas in the city. Oh, my voice is creaky. Christmas <laughs> time in the city. Oh. oh, oh. All right, so I got half a cup of that protein pancake mix in the bowl, and they are supposed to go under a half a cup of water, so I'm gonna start with that. Mix this up. Don't use a spatula. No, you gotta use a fork. I have no, yep. <laughs> fork and least a spoon. <laughs> Make this, mm, I might add a little bit of water. Let's see. Just a smidge. Bink. <laughs> there we are. Okay, my antlers are going in here. I'm gonna cook these up, and then I have this pan heated for this. Now what I'm gonna do is use a quarter cup, once this is heated, a batter for the head, and then use, or sorry, for the nose, and use the rest for the head. So I'm gonna make a small circle and a big circle, and you'll see why. Not yet. I like reindeer pancakes. Oh, I thought you were frying like the bacon. Oh, it. yeah, fry like a bacon. All right, dear friends, I got my two pancakes. I got one big one, one little one, and I got my bacons. What I'm gonna do is take about two inches off the top of each bacon mm. with some meat scissors. Deet deet. And then I'm going to arrange them on either side of the plate, kind of sticking like out on either side. And then I'm gonna take these little pieces here and put them like that to make reindeer antlers. Take the big pancake and put it there for the head. The little pancake will make the nose and then take some light whipped cream and I'm gonna do a couple little dabs for the eyes and for the little nose part. And then take the strawberry and put it on there. Whoa. There's our Rudolph nose. And then take the blueberries and put it for the eyes. 
Yeah. And there he is. Rudolph the reindeer. No reindeer. <laughs> That's the, the more, berry strawberry no this is the more fun way to eat reindeer yes and the pancake mix is 200 calories and the two slices of bacon is 70 and then i'm going to put this low sugar syrup from walmart on it it's dora uh, 35 calories for a serving and i'm only gonna have like a tablespoon so my reindeer pretty creative bud i saw it on pinterest and i made my own version now we'll just Dazzle him with some love. That's Pinteresting. Yep, it's Pinteresting. Yeah, we're gonna eat this antler, guys. Dip it and stir it up. Ew. Do dip you their dip bacon it? syrup? Yeah. Do you dip bacon in syrup, no, friends? No, ketchup. Tell us the friends. Do you dip it in syrup like the cool one, me? They all dip it or in ketchup. Ketchup like the gross one. Well, for real. Mmm. Good idea. You want a fork, or no. are you just gonna be a savage? We are gonna be a savage. <laughs> Let's eat his nose. That's a good Christmas tradition. Eat Rudolph. <laughs> mm, Teach that Rudolph. one to the kids. Good nose, Rudolph. Mm, good work. Good. Mm. You need some sort of extract to Sasserini. I, the friends, I figure since I'm making reindeer pancakes, I may as well make some sort of fancy holiday yogurt, and I'm just winging it off the top of my head. So I brought over some red sprinkles for Christmas and some mint chocolate chips Ooh. some we got regular and then lilies that are no sugar added peppermint baking chips and those are my peaches just defrosting those a bit this is where you stick your hand in the cup don't do this at home by the way and then put it in front of no one will so you don't have to worry about that i'm an alien 20 more Seconds, 20 more seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to edit that last part out. Tw Thank 20 you. more seconds for the peaches. <laughs> what kind of extract should I get? Hmm. Um, you're going peaches. You're gonna put peppermint with peaches? Yes. Um, well, oh. <laughs> maybe I'll put the peaches on my reindeer pancake. Can't you use any <laughs> other flavor of chips? <laughs> yeah. Do you, don't we have caramel? Yeah, but that's not holiday. Well, caramel and peaches goes better together. Yeah, but I can put the peaches on my reindeer. That's yeah. true. That's true. Let's do it. I'm going to get some vanilla extract for this and then pour in my little binkas. I, I don't know about this. You'll love it. <laughs> okay, peaches, here you go. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, reindeer, baba. Okay, do a little bit of vanilla. Toot. Oops, a lot bit. A lot bit of vanilla. <laughs> a lot bit. And then a sprink of sweetener. Stir it up, and then we'll dash it up with a few cutes. That, that's the best way to make, like if you just want a simple vanilla Greek yogurt without all the sugar, you get yourself some sweetener and some vanilla extract. Boom. Yeah, and then it's like, it tastes very similar to the one you can buy at the store. Look at this. We'll just eyeball a little spring to make it pretty. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. Oh yeah. And then just about like a teaspoon of these. Just cute them in there. <laughs> like that. Ta -da! They're Christmas yogurt. Christmas yogurt. Christmas pancake with peaches. <laughs> he, he ran the reindeer ran into a peach patch tree. He did. He drove right into peach trees. <laughs> Reindeer got run over by a peach tree. <laughs> you know, I seen this funny thing on here. Mhm. Mm you know what these are called? Red. Yeah, isn't that weird? Like, like how am I supposed to know if if you don't know anything about ba like you call them sprinkles and we know what they are cuz you look at them. Yeah. But if I'm looking at the package it says red. But so you're supposed to know in French, dec decor. But in Canada, so if you go to the store in Canada and you want red sprinkles, you can't say that for cakes or for decorating. You have to say, I want red. <laughs> and then watch them just stare at you like a weirdo. Yeah, because in the States, they wouldn't have the French, right? So you would just be like, oh, I want red. That's weird. They're yeah, there's red. no... They probably had something offensive on there that they had to take off, so now they're called red. <laughs> 
So put some red on so, your yogurt. <laughs> while it's still legal, the colors are allowed on the label. So red, ask for red at so the store. So go to the baking aisle and get red. <laughs> I made my own reindeer. You did. Tell me how it turned out. Okay, let's see. What? <laughs> Ew, what you got there? I got my bachelor oats, which yeah. I think the video is gonna be up by this time that we show you how to make it. Yeah, so um, you can make the bachelor oats and gross egg whites and uh, ketchup. No, this is a reindeer <coughs> egg, egg white. A reindeer uh, egg white ketchup. Oh, a reindeer with red. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. The red nose, Rudolph, red eyes. And yeah. not red sprinkles or red ketchup, just red. It's Chris, oh yeah, red, just it's red Christmas eggs. No, yeah. you can't say Christmas. It's uh, red holiday ho eggs. Yeah, red holiday eggs. They're, oh yeah, eyes. Nice reindeer. Holidays aren't canceled yet, but Christmas is. Yep. We're um, doing our cardio right now, and we were just talking about falling and getting back up again. If you don't know, Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each, and we've kept it off for almost seven years. When we first started, I was 275 pounds, Kyle was 375 pounds. We could barely walk, barely bend down to tie our shoes or walk up and down stairs without being out of breath. We knew we had to lose weight and do something we could stick to because we were gonna keep getting health problems, which we were getting. Type two diabetes for Kyle, sleep apnea for me. So we said, okay, we're gonna eat what we like, but portion it out. And we're gonna move our bodies as much as we could. We could barely walk, but we said, we made a commitment to each other. We said, I don't know what we're capable of out there, but we're gonna get out every day and move our body as much as we could. Didn't matter if it was for five minutes, walking down the driveway and then we were done. But every day, and it was actually winter like this, knee deep in snow, guys. And we walked for two minutes, we had to stop because we had cramps, we were out of breath. We literally felt like, giving up but we, we had said, to, we had to drop that perfect story we were trying to be perfect which is why yeah. we failed we were trying to be perfect eaters we we're like we don't know how to eat perfect yeah. we were trying to be perfect exercise ab people we don't know how to do that so let's do, do what we can today and that's take one step at a time and it just happened to be the middle of winter it was and we did we walked for two minutes we stopped then we did another minute and every day because we never gave up and we went back out with no expectations but just doing our best, we got better and better at it. And a 10 minute walk took us probably half an hour in the beginning and then eventually we could do our cardio that we do now which is like an hour and 20 minutes and it feels like nothing because we love it. So do not give up. It doesn't matter what it looks like for you. Just get out there and move. Who cares if you just walk down your driveway and you're done? You don't have That's, to be perfect at yeah. everything. Don't let the world tell you that you shouldn't even try if you're not perfect. And taking 10 steps is more than you did yesterday. So the next day, get out and do 11 steps. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's whatever you can do. Do it your best. Do 10 steps today. Do 11 tomorrow. And to any of the friends watching this that have actually not clicked off the video this long into it, we know one thing about you. You're not watching this by accident and you don't give up because if <laughs> you would have clicked off this video exactly. already. Exactly. So you're getting this message for a reason. You don't have to be perfect. Do what you love and do it to the best of your ability and that will get you the results. That will get you sticking to it. That's why Kyle and I have been able to do it for so long because we never give up. You're going to fall on this journey. We're it's not, normal. We're not good at a lot of things no. but one thing we do have naturally is a very thick skull <laughs> so if you fall get yourself back up and go everybody falls but everyone has that choice to get up or not make the choice to get back up and do another step because you can love you <laughs> sassy i'm wearing brown and i'm like a deer and gonna be a deer in the forest These are my hands. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look, guys. Look at my hat. See it? Can they see the light? Uh, I don't know.
nice and slimy. You know what I am? Tree hugger. I see that. <laughs> I always knew that about you. Show the friends, the, the Instagram friends, at the clips if you didn't follow us. Yeah, go follow us on the Insta. Cause then, then you can see this, like on Instagram. Yeah, like if this isn't enough uh, action for you, you get more action on Instagram. Now they are gonna film you. It's gonna be real like Matrixy. Oh. Then if see if you're if they're already following us, they get to enter the Matrix or Inception, where it's like the filmer filming the filmer. Look at this. We're in the matrix. We're filming the filmers, filming the filmers, filming the filmers. We're filming a video for YouTube. Hi. <laughs> this is how you burn the calories. <laughs> Get those neat calories burning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got to turn it off. There's more humans coming. Oh. Bye. Want to show your beautiful lunch, honey? Yeah, we're showing the lunch. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Well, first we got to get this yuck off the cuke. Pew. Get that out of there. Now we put, do not slice in your own hand. That's only for colas. Uh-oh, run away. You lost one. So we're doing seven slices of cucumber. I don't know why, I just chose seven. <laughs> and a handful of lettuce, about a cup of romaine lettuce chopped, and three slices of tiki bacon, but that's actually just turkey. <laughs> no bacon this time. No, just turkey. And then Sassy eats more, um, I'm doing it on a wrap, but Sassy eats more calories and carbs in the morning, so he chooses to just have a salad. It's the same lunch as me, just no carbs. I like to spread mine out more. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Seven's the number. I don't know why it's just seven. And then we're gonna do some black olives, the sliced ones. I just need a little teaspoon. We really like Greek salad and it's like crazy how just a little bit of light Greek dressing and some black olives just makes it. Yeah, so we buy these sliced in a can, so we don't have to do any chopping. We just measure out about a little bit of a heap or teaspoon. Whoops, I got a lot of runaways. And then we do some of this Greek feta. And we do two teaspoons. A little bit goes a long way. This is the calorie-wise Greek feta. Really flavorful. And just do two teaspoons. And then Sassaruni will do his after. And with it, I'm drinking a Coke Zero and two waters. And I don't know if they changed the recipe recently because they got new cans for the Coke Zero, but it does taste better. It really does. And, uh, you know, in the fridge we got one of those single serving bottles of Coke Zero from a friend gave me one. And I was contemplating pouring that into this can when it's done <laughs> so I can keep having more. Split it with you. It's <laughs> a random thought in my head. <laughs> Why did you share that story? <laughs> because it's fun. Okay. I like <laughs> look your at outfit. My, look at my socks. Well, you see, these are thermal socks, and it's cold because it's windy here. So, will you wear these therms with your outfit? It's turkey bacon day. We're having bleats for dinner, meaning BLT. Bacon, lettuce, turkey, bacon, and tomato. And cheese. <laughs> and cheese. And pickles. And pickles. So this is what we're doing. We got a low carb or low calorie wrap at Joseph's Lavash. And I put a tablespoon of the Calorie Wise Miracle Whip. And then I think I'm gonna do, what should we do next? The cheese, maybe? Uh, salt and pepper. Okay, we're gonna do salt and pepper. Beat the salt, beat the pep. Then we'll put some tomato and some lettuce. And this is the just hearts of romaine that we get from Walmart, already chopped. Do, you know, about a cup-ish. 
and then throw some sliced pickles on there. We're weighing in life today. We decided we want pickles, so we're putting it in. And if you like pickles, go for it. And then this is a fat-free cheese slice, black diamond, and two slices of turkey bacon. Mm. And then we're gonna wrap it up like this, foldy. Hey, you're good at that. I need you to show me how to do that. I will. I'll do it, my love. Show you right up. And then Sassy has ketchup on it. Mmm. Mine is ketchup free. Look at this one. Ew. That's the base of mine, some ketchup action. No. Mmm. I put ketchup on everything, but. No, guys. Look at this. Mmm. Good? Mm hmm. Good bleep. <laughs> hey, what you eating now? All right, we're making anabolic ice cream. And this is the protein powder that we are using in our anabolic ice cream. The link for that is down below. Also, we have tons of anabolic ice cream recipes in our guilt-free cookbook. The link for that is also down below. Greg also has them in his books, which you'll see a link below too. For that as well. And before I show you the toppings, if you want energy so that you can go be a reindeer in the forest, <laughs> <laughs> this is the pre-workout that we take Harder than last time, same, the protein powder is also huddled. It's actually the only reason I take this, is to be a deer in the forest. Why else would anybody take it? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> the toppings I'm using are these holiday shapes to carry on the holiday theme. They're vanilla chocolate chips, but they're in the form of Christmas trees and stockings. I got those from Zares in Canada and 70 calories for a tablespoon. So I'm just Whoa. gonna bahinga those on there. And then this is a brownie fiber one. They're 90 calories. So it's like 160 or 150-ish. I can't do the math right now. I think 160 for the toppings, which is really lovely. And I'm just gonna crumble that on there. This is our festive uh, Vlogmas video, one and only. The one and only festive Vlogmas. After this, we're gonna have our normal Smart Pop, which you guys have seen in lots of videos, and our cottage cheese and peanut butter, which we have every night for a snack before we go to bed. And if you wanna know exactly what Sassy and I ate to lose our first next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides. The links are down below for that as well. Or you can watch these two videos for free to see how you can make weight loss easy AF or easy as a baby seal in French. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Google it. <laughs> Google it so you can know what that means. And this, if you wanna be a magician and you wanna turn this paper passing 100,000 subscriber plaque into a real one, cause we haven't done it yet, push the subscribe button and you'll be a magician. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So we hope you enjoyed this one and only Vlogmas. Have a lovely holiday season and phew, phew, lawn mowing out and shake your beam and shake your beam and shake your beam. It's peachy for you too. Beep, 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 beep. This is a beam. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.